So, the constant hype has gone down for Battle of Legends Crystal's Revenge. We finally know what is in the whole entire set outside of a couple cards. So, let's get right into it and let's see all the imports or new cards along with the reprints. So, this is everything from Animation Chronicles 2022 that OCG got, and it's cool that we all got it. Some of the noteworthy secret rares I do want to talk about, and ultra rares, we have Dice Dungeon, Dimension Dice, both of those are ultra rares. We also have things like, in the secret rare slot, number two, Ninja Shadow Mosquito, and all the G-Golem stuff being ultra outside of their two secret rares. Other than that, all the Crystal Beast, Advanced Crystal Beast cards are secret rare, which kind of sucks, but it has that. To that now the cards that i weren't expecting to be in here as we can see all seven of crystal beast and rainbow bridge they're in here as a ultra rare along with advanced dark my question is why did they waste eight slots on reprints when they just released the crystal beast structure deck so there's that after that we have a lot of good blackwing supports like gale bora sirocco pretty much all the main set staples from edison format Outside of things like Black Whirlwind, but that's absolutely fine. But it's also missing stuff like Armor Master. We have full Armor Master, but not Armor Master. After that, we have Toon Chaos cards being Toon BLS, Harpy Lady, Bookmark, uh, Page Flip, Toon Terror are all in here. We have the Chaos Creator, Chaos Daedalus, Chaos Valkyrie, Valkyria, and Chaos Base. So, all four of those cards are welcomed and reprints that needed to happen. We also have Adai's Phantasma and Persona Dragon, along with Adai's Rebellion. And let's get into kind of like a, the other territory. So, those were just all archetypal cards. We have DD Crow. That's absolutely amazing. Edge Chain and Fright for Patchwork. Those definitely needed to happen, and I'm definitely going to pick up a play set of each. Token Collector, kind of late, late on that reprint, but that's fine. Uh, Koakai Mirror Supplier, very great reprint, very nice secret rare overall. Then we have Doom Kaiser Dragon and Revived King Hades, and Borlode Savage Dragon, two cards for Edison format, and Savage Dragon, another secret rare printing. Number F0, Utopic Draco Future, I cannot wait to rarity bump mine. Salaman Great Circle, just a random rarity upgrade. Fusion Destiny is just in here. I think that is Medallion? of the plunder patrol one of the continue or the equip spell i believe that's for them avenger slayer selene we already saw selene access code talker is one that i'm going to be talking about a little bit later we also have kiss kill and leela the only two that made it in here from genesis impactor now we're still missing a couple cards most notably the blue eyes white dragon if they imported it to Japanese text, but we're not sure. And there might be two other cards. But let's talk about Access Code Talker. It has a secret rare in the set, which is absolutely amazing. Then we have Starlight Rare Access Code Talker. The one card that is speculated to be around is Dual Link's Dragon as a reprint in this set. If not, it's going to be in the next Battle of Legends next year. But I wanted you guys think about Battles of Legends Crystal Revenge. In my opinion... The set what is okay. It's not the like it's not the worst set of all time. It does reprint some cards that definitely need to get reprinted, which I'm really grateful for that Konami in the past three reprint sets just hammered out the reprints. And this one, definitely 10 out of 10. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video and goodbye.